The FN Model 1910, otherwise known as the Browning 1910, is a striker fire blowback design semi-automatic pistol invented by John Browning that fires either the 380 ACP or the 32 ACP. At the time, John Browning only designed guns for U.S. gun manufacturers. Pistol manufacturer Colt turned down the 1910 design, so Browning patented the 1910 and sold it to Fabrique National in Belgium, who later also produced the Browning High Power. Strike fire pistols were incredibly innovative for the time. The first being the 1907 Ross Steyr, this 1910 was incredibly advanced. The 1910 was a 6 plus 1380 or a 7 plus 132 ACP. Later in 1922, they extended the barrel and referred to it as a 1910-22 or a 10-22. The 1910 played a major role as a sidearm in World War I. I want to make a note at this point that we also have a channel called The History of Weapons. Definitely check that link out below. We give a wealth of history on all these weapons we talk about. However, this pistol's most famous purchase was by officers of the Army of the Kingdom of Serbia in 1914 who formed a secret society known as the Black Hand established in 1911. They were dedicated to a greater, stronger Serbia. Drogatin Dimitrovic, who recruited three Serbian youths, Gavarilo Princip, Trifko Grabez, Nedeljenko Kabrinovic. The Black Hand trained them to be assassins with a new advanced sidearm referred to there as the FN 1910. Armed with six hand grenades, four Browning FN Model 1910s, and 380 ACP, money, and suicide pills. Then on June 28, 1914, after a few mix-ups and mishaps of attempts, it was Princip who stepped onto the running board of Austria's Archduke Franz Ferdinand's motor car, shot the Archduke and his wife Sophie at point-blank range, hitting the Archduke in the jugular vein and his wife Sophie in the abdomen ultimately setting off a course of events that led to the biggest war the world had ever seen, World War I. As soon as this war began, the FN 1910 became the sidearm of the Serbian army. The Browning 1910 is truly known as the firearm that started the greatest war in the history of the world. It's incredible how just one single pistol can set off a chain of events that led to, ultimately, the destruction of millions of lives throughout the world. There had never been a war like this before. The 1910 was carried on into World War II, being the sidearm for Nazi Germany, Netherlands, Greece, Denmark, Finland, France, Romania, Turkey, and Greece. Early on in World War II, with Nazi Germany invasion of Belgium, they took over the FN Herstel plant and immediately began production of the Browning 1910 as well as the Browning High Power. However, FN employees were able to escape with the Browning High Power design, so the Browning High Power was actually used by both sides of the war. Production of the Browning 1910 continued until 1983. There are several different pistols, even today, that use this technology from the Browning 1910. It's no doubt John Browning was advanced for his time. I want to make another note at this point to check out our History of Weapons channel. That link is below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support our channel through Patreon, that link all is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests, so never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.